Oh, yeah, mouse bar too. So Cardi B. Okay, the reason that we can like color them however we want and design them. If people are like web designers, this is like kind of a Cardo mapping version of CSS. Uh, it has all these different properties. If you're not familiar with web design, this looks a little bit complicated, but it's way easier than like any kind of like GIS program for designing. In space. It's super simple. You see how all of these things here are called transit future projects updated? That's what that whole spreadsheet is called. Every single new project that you're seeing here as a spreadsheet, here as a, a map, right? You're saying select all of those guys, and then we want the, the do we want the row that has ID number one? Cardo DB ID number one. Let's take a look at the rows. Cardo DB ID number one. What is that? Oh, look, it's the line line. Okay, so now we're saying, now we're selecting the line line, and what do you do to it? Line color line, line width age. You just kind of tell it how to look. Yeah, and so we can do that with all the lines at once, or just individual ones like that when we want to highlight a particular one. But yeah, yeah, go to the scaling one. So when we do, when we're looking at the map, it's a combination of, oops, all those things we mentioned. There's the base map, which is just kind of in the background. And then we're showing, um, and I wrote the map. There we go. Uh, base map underneath the gray thing. Old transit lines, all the existing ones, and then new transit lines on top. As we zoom into individual projects, we're saying, fade out all the old stuff, and then only show the gold line. And, we, and, and also zoom to the following part of the world. So every map view is this part of the world, and show these lines and show them this way. Does that make sense? Yeah. 